Okay. All right, so the carpet is dying, right? Oh, drying. It's drying right now. <laughs> it's drying. Um, I don't know how I feel about the dying process. I feel like it takes too long and I'm not patient. So I think I might just spray paint it. <laughs> I was at the dollar store getting tape and shit, and um, I found this Miracle paint. It's black, and it, it dries really flat, really fast. It actually dries like plastic dip, but probably faster. Um, it was a dollar twenty-five, and I know if you go to like Walmart and get like a Rust-Oleum can, it's like probably like five something. But if you're doing something like this, just apply a lot of coat so it can be thick, so when you scratch it, it won't get fucked up. Uh, I sprayed one of the seat belt panels already just to test run it. I sanded that one. I'm not going to sand this one because I want to see what happens if you don't sand it. Um, I'm going to start doing the small pieces first, like the light. I'm taping off the little light thing because my light is stuck to it. So I don't know why. I don't know what the fuck they did to this, but it's like stuck, so I'm stuck with the fight. So that's what I'm doing right now. What I'm doing right now, I'm taping the connections for the light bulbs, so that way that they won't get paint on them and get fucked up, so the connection will get messed up. So what I'm doing, it's kind of too big, you take it, you put a piece behind, and you make it stick, and you fold it over, and it's covered. So now the connection is covered. I'm going to repeat the same process on the other side. This little bitch will couldn't get off my finger. covered uh, to do the other side it's covered now I can spray paint in there without worrying about anything getting fucked up and just to make sure that I don't get fucked up either So I'm sanding it down with a uh, 120 because that's all I have. I don't know if I should prime it or not because this is kind of like, I usually use something else for the plastic trim. So I'm trying this out and if it starts peeling, I'll just take it off and do it over again. But I'm just sanding it so it gets smooth and soft. All that original paint. So I switched up and I'm using a 60 grit sandpaper because there's a lot of texture on this. And, um, you don't have to sand, but I rather sand and make sure that the whole thing is smooth and clean so the paint has something great to stick on. And I know if I use primer it would be better, but oh well, I'm not using that. You could if you want to. It's the same process, just put the primer on like you'll put the paint. And then you sand the primer down, make it smooth, and then you put the paint on and then sand the same thing. Rinse and repeat. Alright, so I put five coats on this already. Everything is covered. This, that piece <laughs> is not covered. But I mainly have it up all the time, so yeah. I might do another coat on this because I just want everything to be thick so when you scratch it, it won't come off. 
like that. But since the incense is gonna go on there, so I'm not really worried about it. I'm just more worried about this piece. But this is what five coats look like. Start outside, come in, outside, come in, outside, come in. life easier just get the goddamn thing that you squeeze at fucking Walmart or Home Depot because your fingers gonna get so fucking tired <laughs> So this is like eight coats already on the pieces. Sorry that the lighting sucks because I'm gonna turn dark as fuck. I'm gonna buy clear coat tomorrow and put some clear on it. So these pieces. Oh, black. Yeah, so that's like eight, nine coats already. Well, eight coats, about seven, eight coats already painted on. They look like that. Um, I have to get clear coat because like you scratch it, it fucking uh the paint peels off, and I applied the paint decently, so it shouldn't be doing that, but. You need the protection from the clear coat if you want it to stay in and last longer. I have to paint the two back pieces in the back of the car, in the trunk, still, because it's stuck with the seat belts. And I don't know how to take the seat belts off, so I have to paint that. And then the front panel on the driver's side because the alarm system is on that shit. So I gotta paint that shit in the car. So, and then the carpet, I'm gonna do it again tomorrow because that's some bullshit. And I'm just gonna spray it with some paint and we gonna make that shit black and I don't give a fuck. And then we could be done with this and do other shit to the car. So we will record another video tomorrow. Continue from this one, I guess. And I right, peace. Yeah.